Hi guys, it's Jada Mahogany and I am back with another video. And if you are new here, welcome to my channel. If you are one of my day ones, I miss you guys so much. So today has been a day. Happy Valentine's Day. I know when this goes up, it will not be Valentine's Day anymore. I'm gonna be showing y'all what I got at TJ Maxx. I'm gonna post this right away so you guys can check out your local TJ Maxx and hopefully some of these items will be in there. I am literally so geeked about all of the things that I got. As you can see, I'm super geeked. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you do not miss anything. Y'all know the spill. Hit the notification bell. All that good jazz. Ah, look what I got. Okay. So I'm going to show y'all everything I got. And it's literally good. Like when I say good, really good. All right. Okay. So I'm going to go with like things that are like okay. And then I'll go for them. So I got these right here, these claw clips. I am obsessed with these right now. This is just like from my childhood. I really, really love them. And I feel like I'll do my hair in some kind of cute way um, and I'll use them. Cause I think I'm thinking about doing my natural hair in um, uh, boho braids or whatever on my natural hair and like plaits all over. So I feel like these will be really cute. Um, I only paid $7.99 for these and they're the really pretty pastels. And then these are giving like earth tone vibes and these were $7.99 as well. Super cute. Um, next thing that I ate while well, I was able to find was the Patterns Edge Brush. Whoop. So I was really, really geeked when I found this in the store for a whopping $5.99. I didn't want to buy it when I was in Ulta because I just didn't know. Like I, I wasn't like... You know what I'm saying? I just didn't get warm and fuzzies right away, but I am so glad I bought it just now because look, look, you got nice, firm bristles, a nice comb, super pointy, so you can really like get your edges out, pull your edges. You know, like sometimes you do your slick backs and you want to like go in and pull. You'll be able to do that. A pointed tip. And y'all, she was so thoughtful. Look at this. You got somewhere to put your brush. And knowing me, I will probably like put it this way, inside this way. So I won't get like lint and stuff on there. But I just really love this and I'm so glad I got it. So I got that. And then I'm gonna do the makeup first because I feel like the skincare that I got is the main attraction. So first things first, I found this Makeup Revolution palette for a whopping $3.99. And really what sold me was this blue right here. Like this blue really sold me. Let's see what it looked like. So that's what that blue looks like. That's really pretty. Um, and it's almost like a melted kind of, I don't know how to explain that formula, but it's, it's really like it kind of melts, if that makes any sense. And I feel like, I know some people really like to splurge on shadow palettes. I am not really one of those people. Even as a professional, I just, I don't wear a lot of make, uh, eye makeup. Like, not how I used to. So, I just, I feel like a good eye primer will make, literally make a $1.99 palette pop. That's just my opinion. So, now, this brand right here, I never heard of it. It's like a more us. It's called Shine Bright. And this palette was a whopping $4.99. And it looks like that. And really, once again, the blue shades and the greens are what sold me. Like, I feel like, I feel like I'm gonna be blue and green, like a flamingo. Blue, green, and pink this summer are gonna be like my colors. All right, next I got the BH Cosmetics Calori palette for a whopping $5.99. And the reason I really, I could not leave out with this is because you know how you go out of town and you know that you're going to serve neutral looks, but you also know that you want to give like some vibrant colors. This did it for me. Like y'all see this? So perfect. You got some brights in there, a row of neutrals, and you really can pop out with a little bit of anything. And honestly, you can use this for blush too. Like you can go in like pretty much blush, highlight, all in one. I probably would not be able to use any of these as like a bronzer or anything like that. 
but I can just do do what needs to be done with this. And I would say this is probably like my favorite out of all of the ones that I bought. And this was a little more pricey. This was $12.99, but it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Collection palette, the mini palette, right? Look how pretty that is. Y'all see how pretty that is? Like, it's giving Flamingo, it's giving Miami, it's giving, it's giving, you know? So I got that and let's watch one of those. Let's watch the pink. And with these matte shades, obviously, is this one right here. You are going to need to wear a primer. I feel like you need to wear a primer when you are dealing with matte shades. Um, so, yeah, there's that. And ooh, I think I told a lie. I feel like these might be my favorite. So, the Morphe Times Nyane, Nyane, I don't know how to pronounce it. Fierce Fairy Tale Six Piece Color Pencil Set, y'all. $4.99. And look. Oops, hold on. Oh. Look at these. And I really want to do more like graphic liner looks and more looks with liners. And I feel like these are so pretty. And this pink one right here, I swatched it already. It's that one. And let's see what the yellow is hitting on. Because I feel like yellow liners can be so oh, oh, we gotta, we might gotta hit. We might. We might got a hit with that. So yeah, and these are sharpened pencils, like pencils you sharpen. So I kind of like that because I feel like sometimes with the retractable pencils, they're just not as pigmented. So I don't know. So that was the makeup that I got. Let's go ahead and go into the skincare, the real main try y'all. When I tell you I hit the jackpot with this, I hit the jackpot with this. So I, when it comes to skincare, um, for me, what I noticed is I completely stopped using skincare at one point because it was just, it was too harsh, too much going on, and I just couldn't, my skin was like, no. So I stopped. Um, when I had my daughter, like before I had my daughter, I had like, I was having issues with my skin. It was a couple times, I was just having issues with my um, skin. So, I kind of got back into skincare, but it's real basic. Like it was a real basic routine. And I'm in a Facebook group, a black girls, um, brown girl group on Facebook that pretty much everything in, in there is skincare. Skincare and people talk about a little bit of makeup here and there. So K-Beauty, Korean Beauty is kind of big in the group and it sparked my interest. And I've been buying Korean skincare since then and y'all I don't know what's like so different the only thing I can think of is like in other countries they don't allow certain chemicals and this and that but my skin has been thriving so when I go to TJ Maxx that's all I look for when it comes to skincare it's K-beauty that's it that's it that's all and I see my Asian sisters in there be doing the same thing because I be watching them while they, you know, just seeing what they pick. Not watching them like that, but watching and seeing what, what stuff they're picking out. So, the first thing, let me see. The first thing that I got, and I feel like this brand is in there a lot, and I've never tried it, but we're going to give it a try. It's Kapari Tropical Glow Cleanser. This is it. Um, Y'all, and I'm so mad because I got some... I'll tell y'all about it later. That's why I don't wear it real close to work because something always gets on my clothes. All right, so I got this. This is what it looks like. Let's smell it. Let's see what it... Of course, they got a thing on there. Let me see what it smells like. It smells good. It smells like pineapple and coconut. Literally, like a pina, a pina colada. That's what it smells like. So I got this. Um, I don't... I don't fool around with too many different um, cleansers. Honestly, the cleanser that I use is, why is it not coming to my mind? I'll tell y'all in a bit, but I use the same thing as far as cleansers. I don't venture out when it comes to cleansers. I just don't. All right, next thing we have, because I don't have one, is a toner. 
So it's um, Sorabi from the sea, which is also made in Korea. It's a hydro toner. I will say with the Korean beauty, with the K-beauty, a lot of this stuff is not in English on here. So before I use it, typically I will go to Google, try to find it and really dive deep into what it's used for and what it's for because it's not that much information that I can read. So I got that. Next, I got an intensive face serum. Um, I don't know what the brand is, I'm assuming whatever that is right there that's the brand uh, it says it helps improve moisture retention level for a dewy healthier looking skin so there is that and like i said i'm gonna look all of this stuff up before i use it that's the thing i feel like with k-beauty like a lot of the um wording on the packaging is not in english it'll be a few things in english here and there but everything is not in english so before you use it just do some research on it so you know like if it's going to be good for your skin or if it's going to work for your skin concerns or what have you so there is that next we have this brand Kohl's rx and this is a advanced nail um cream so this is formulated with 92 percent snail secretion um yeah now, the reason I got this is because I have a facial essence, a Korean facial essence that has this snail in it. And I am obsessed. You hear me? Obsessed. So let me see, what does this look like? Oops. So this is just like a facial cream and I don't do too many facial creams. So I probably, maybe I'll use this at night. This is what it looks like. Let's see what it smells like. Ew. Whoa. Yep, it smells just like, it smells just like that essence. Oop, slimy. Just like that um, essence that I have. I just love the way it feels on my skin. And I feel like my uh, my skin absorbs it very well. It doesn't just sit on top of my skin. So we'll see what this is hitting on. And y'all, here's the real star of the show. I was on the phone with my cousin and I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Guess what I just found? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I've been wanting this. I was actually supposed to go to Sephora and get it. Never did. And I'm gonna tell you how my God works how the ancestors work for your girl. Look what I found. Look what I found. The Laneige Sleeping Lip Mask in berry and in apple lime, you guys. $15.99, you hear me? $15.99, yes! So one for me, one for my fave. But yep, I was able to find these and your girl was happy because let me tell y'all story time so originally i found this one right now this is when i was leaving i was about to leave out and before i leave tj maxx what i like to do is assess i go in my cart look at things i don't really need things that i can live without things that are just impulse pickups i pick up i pick up what i like then i go through my cart and put back what i don't really need per se or i don't really love so as i'm doing that I looked down and I was like, oh, is that what I think it is? It is. It is. It so is. Grabbed it. I see another box. Y'all, some raggedy thief took the other one. So it was just a box with nothing in it. And I'm just like telling her, I'm like, man, like this is so, so freaking stupid. Like people just need to keep their hands off people's stuff, you know, whatever. And I get mine i get the one that i'm gonna buy and i go around and i'm just like looking because i'm like maybe there's another one and as i'm leaving y'all on the end cap somebody must have put this back because i remember looking at that little section and it wasn't really anything there and i saw the second one and i was so ecstatic you hear me ecstatic all right so i got those um 
giving y'all a two for one. Y'all probably, y'all have already missed this sale. Y'all have already missed this sale. But what I'm going to tell y'all is if you are looking for quality makeup, high end makeup for a fraction of the, of, of a fraction of the cost. What in the world was up with me just now? A fraction of the cost. You need to shop at the cosmetic company store. Now, where I live at, we have a cosmetic company store warehouse. So a lot of times we have like a bunch of stuff in ours, like a bunch of stuff. So the cosmetic company warehouse is pretty much brands that fall under, I feel like, is it Estee Lauder? I feel like it's Estee Lauder and like brands that fall under the Moet Hennessy group, like some of those brands as well. So they sell them in that particular store. Now you have to make sure when they ask for your email, give them your email because they have these sales that you will not know even exist unless you have the emails. Listen, y'all, they had six for 60. Mm, they had six for 60. So I'm gonna show y'all what I got really quick. And that was like last week because our store is only open um, Wednesday through Sunday or like Thursday through Sunday. So it's weird hours. So this is what I got six for 60 now. Okay, keep that in mind. I know y'all like $60 a day to what? Six for 60. I was able to get MAC face and body. Um, I wear the shade C7. I have never actually owned face and body, but with me enjoying more of a dewy look even though i have oily skin i i figured out what skincare and like how to handle that and still get the look that i want so i got c7 in face and body this alone is like i feel like now because i haven't worked at mac for a while so i feel like this should be at least like 40 dollars now 42 dollars or something like that so I was able, that already is the value because it was six for 60. So I was able to get that. And these are not fake products. These are real products that come from their warehouse, that come from the store. These are authentic products. Bobbi Brown Sheer Finishing Press Powder in Golden Orange. Um, I'm not sure how much this real, retails for, but I'm sure it's somewhere between... 35 and, and 45 dollars it looks like this so this is going to be a nice um pressed powder i want to see how it pairs actually with that face and body so i got that let me see what else and i know y'all probably be like what is wrong with this girl i love a good makeup deal like who's to judge me and I, like I said, I wanted to do graphic liners. So I got four, um, well, three, excuse me, three Too Faced liners, killer liners in the shade Killer Camo, Killer Turquoise, and Killer Queen. So this is a purple, this is a green, and that's like a turquoise blue. So I was able to get those. And then I got one of the, um, well, two of them, because I went back and got some other stuff, y'all. Two of the Too Faced Lip Injections Lip Glass in the shade Stars Are Aligned and Just Friends. Let me show y'all what that looks like. Listen, y'all got to stay, stay ready. Stay vigilant, okay? You stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. You feel me? So, look how pretty those are. Yes, if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. And that's, that's what I be trying to put people on to, like... You know, you got to be patient. Like, makeup is a patient game. Because it's, it's literally always going to go on sale at some point. Like, it's going to always go on sale. So, me, if it's not an immediate need, I'm going to wait for it to go on sale for sure. Like, every single time. So, those were some of my wins for this week in beauty. Um, Y'all missed the cosmetic company sale. If you didn't miss it, let me know in the comment sections what you got. Um, if you missed that one, go to your local TJ Maxx, like tomorrow, sometime soon, and maybe they will have some of the products that I so showed you guys at the beginning of the video. Okay. So that's all. That's all for today. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss anything. I'm going to be doing some of those makeup looks I was telling you about with the liners. And if there's anything else that you want to see, let me know. And I think that it's time for me to do my um, morning skincare routine and like a night skincare routine, just so you guys can see it. Because I feel like I've talked about skincare 
on here but i really didn't go into like deep depth about what i was using why i was using it those sorts of things so eventually your girl is gonna come back with that so y'all can know in case you want to get into k-beauty because it's just my jam like k-beauty has done me right but anyways i will see you guys in the next video